day 31, part 31. Today, I want to talk a little bit about how I feel now uh, that I have come this far. So, you know, in order to find out really how I feel now, I have to understand a little bit about how I felt before I knew who my father was. And to understand that, you know, it's just emptiness. Like, I, I didn't know. It's one of those things you don't know what you don't know. And good, bad, or indifferent, I never know who or never knew who my father was so I didn't know uh, how to feel about a father uh, other than what I could see from my other friends and, and family you know their relationships that they had with their dad you know something that I always always wanted but because I didn't have it I didn't know good bad or indifferent and the one thing that I can say is that I, I know that there are some people out there that have bad relationships with their father and uh, you know that would be one of the things too that I can say as well I mean, no relationship, I guess, is better than a bad relationship, potentially. Again, I don't know. I, I, I didn't get the opportunity to choose either one that was chosen for me. But now that I know, you know, how do I feel? Um, I guess I would say I still feel empty because the day that I figured out who my dad was was the same day that I figured out that my dad was dead and that I never had an opportunity to uh you know hear his voice to talk to him to have any of these conversations um and now that he's gone you know what am I feeling uh I'm feeling extremely determined and blessed you know right now I guess I'm feeling super blessed and super lucky that I was able to get this figured out. I mean, it took 38 years to, to figure out, but I figured it out. Nobody else figured it out. I did. So one, I'm feeling extremely uh, grateful that I didn't give up. You know, I'm, I'm feeling um, overjoyed that I was able to figure out this mystery. But now uh, I'm also feeling more determined than ever before to get people to acknowledge that I figured this out, that somebody made a mistake and that I beat the odds and that I figured out this mystery. Nobody else did me. So that's why I'm going through all this work is so that people really understand that, you know, hey, I, I figured this out. Um, you know, it was a one in three billion opportunity at the time, given the, the amount of men that were on this planet. And I figured it out, even though my father was excused. My my father was the one who said that it would never be him. I proved that wrong. And that's where I want that acknowledgement. I, I want people to understand um, that these things happen. And, and again, I'm determined. So so my feelings right now is just determined more than ever to get that acknowledgement uh, that, that I'm right and that uh, they're wrong. I mean, it's just as simple as that. The other thing, I had a great conversation with my mom today and she told me just how amazing she feels now knowing that, that she was right the whole time. You know, being able to justify what she was telling people for 38 years that Howard Jacobson was my father and that now I can prove that. She told me she's just overjoyed. She said that was the most incredible feeling that she's ever felt. Um, just that I believed her for once. And, and I do. I 100 million percent do. And, and everybody else does now too. So to give her that justification and to give her, uh, you know, that ability to, to hold her head up. I mean, that's what really makes me feel good. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for her. Uh, I'm doing this to right the wrongs and I'm doing this for everybody else so that no one else has to go through this, uh, in the future. So, you know, DNA paternity fraud, it does exist. DNA paternity heirs, they do exist. And DNA, um, you know, child laws, Unfortunately, they don't exist. The child doesn't get any any say one way or the other. And that's what I'm here to change. So uh, thanks for paying attention. Thanks for hearing me out. Uh, continue to share. Uh, continue to like, comment, ask me a question. I'll answer it. Uh, thanks. Take care.